Hello, welcome to Astronautics for Exploit. In this video, how we be going over space weather, Earth protection against space weather, events of space weather, and space weather observations. Space weather is a branch of space physics, heronomy, or elophysics. It's the time varying conditions on the sun, in space, and in the solar wind magnetosphere, ionosphere, and thermosphere that can influence the performance and reliability of space-borne and ground-based technological systems and can endanger human life or earth. Many phenomena associated with space weather occur within the Earth's magnetosphere and upper atmosphere. Extreme space weather could potentially cause damage to critical infrastructure on Earth and in space. The influencers are the solar wind and the interplanetary magnetic field carried by the solar wind plasma. The picture to the right shows space weather, the unleashing of sol solar storm by the sun bursting of corona mass ejection into space from sun's surface in the direction of Earth, heating of the Earth's atmosphere by the charged particles, glowing of hot atmosphere with aurora lights, and effects of charged particles. This picture shows extreme space weather events which is caused by eruption of a blob of plasma from the sun and is streaming towards the heart. As protection against space weather, Earth has an area of magnetic force activity, which is referred to as magnetic field. It is surrounded by gases called an atmosphere. As magnetic field and atmosphere together act like a sheet and thereby protecting us from the majority of the solar wind blast. An aurora refers to as polar lights, northern lights or southern lights is a natural light display in the earth's sky and predominantly seen in high altitude regions around the Arctic and Antarctic. Auroras are the result of disturbances in the magnetosphere which is caused by solar wind. They occur when charged particles sneak past Earth's sheet. This picture shows Earth's protection against space weather by the magnetic field. Effects of space weather. The environmental conditions in space as influenced by solar wind affect the following spacecraft, radio communications, navigation, astronauts, airline industry, electric power transmission, pipelines, and climate. Effects of space weather on spacecraft. Spacecraft are affected by solar wind, both directly and indirectly. Ions striking satellites can overwhelm sensors, damage solar cells, and degrade wiring and other equipment. When conditions get rough in the radiation beds, satellites often switch to a safe mode in order to protect their systems. Common advanced space weather effects on spacecraft are radiation damage and spacecraft charging. Spacecraft charging can cause an erroneous signal, and this is a predominant space weather effect on spacecraft in just synchronous orbit. 2003 geomagnetic, geomagnetic storms are attributed to 46 out of 72 satellite failures. Most spacecraft in Earth's orbit operate within the radiation beds, and geomagnetic storm hurts it to the thermosphere, thereby causing it to expand and rise, increasing the drag on spacecraft. Geomagnetic storm can also cause an orbit change over a couple of days that otherwise will have occurred over a year or more. There's need for reliable and credible collision prediction.
Effects of space weather on satellites in orbit. Degradation of communications, performance, reliability, and overall lifetime. This is shown in the picture to the right. Example can be found in the, the solar panels that convert sunlight to electrical power on most spacecraft. We steadily generate less power over the course of emission. And the degradation must be taken into account in designing the satellite. Radio communications. Short wave radio communication, mainly used by the military and for long range broadcast, works by bouncing radio signals off a charged layer of particles in our atmosphere, which is called the ionosphere. Geomagnetic storms disturb the ionosphere and this thereby make the radio communication spotty and sometimes impossible. Solar flares can produce strong X rays that degrade or block high frequency radio waves used for radio communication during the events of radio blackout storms. Solar energy particles can penetrate satellite electronics and cause electrical failure. The energetic particles can also block radio communications at high latitudes during solar radiation storms. Navigation Most of the navigation systems rely on global positioning system, which in turn relies on carefully timed and triangulated signals from satellites. Two magnetic storms cause sudden variations in the density of the ionosphere, and as a result, GPS signals from satellites and rather GPS receivers slightly highly or late, leading to inaccuracies. Hanuman navigation. Research findings show that geomagnetic storms affect animal navigation. Many migratory animals have internal biological compasses, and this is due to tiny grains of a magnetic mineral in their brains. Geomagnetic storms may disorient the animals, causing whales to beach and carrier pigeons to lose their way. Astronauts On Earth, human beings are protected by the combined action of the magnetosphere and the atmosphere. Radiation and high energy particles from the sun can damage living tissue and later doses of radiation in space is very dangerous. The space weather effects on astronauts. During geomagnetic storms, the increased density and energy of particles trapped in the radiation beds means a greater chance that an astronaut will be hit by a damaging particle, and this can damage DNA within cell and can lead to cancer. NASA's activities. The International Space Station has increased shielding around crew quarters and NASA carefully monitors each astronaut's radiation exposure throughout his or her career. The Van Allen probes help to develop better predictive models show that astronauts will have increased warning of storms. Airline Industry High altitude crew and passengers, the magnetosphere and atmosphere keep most harmful radiation from reaching the surface of the heart, but damaging radiation thus does penetrate the upper levels of the atmosphere. High flying airplanes, crew and passengers fly over the North Pole are exposed to more radiation than when at sea level. The Van Allen probes will provide more accurate information to airlines, enabling them to determine the safest flight path to take during geomagnetic storms. Hairline monitoring. Geomagnetic storms can alter the shape of the Earth's protective magnetosphere. Sometimes, align more high energy particles into the upper levels of our atmosphere. Hairlines monitor space weather forecasts and even sometimes make changes to flight paths during solar storms in order to lessen radiation exposure of the people in airplanes. Electric power transmission. Electric power grid and the power to homes and businesses can be disrupted by space weather. 
Geomagnetic storms induce electric currents in the cables and transformers of electric power systems. The induced currents can damage equipment, cause minor disruptions in service, or major problems of power failures, such as blackouts affecting thousands of people. With warning from space weather forecasts, power companies can take urgent steps to minimize failures. The Van Allen probes will help develop better predictive models that could give technology operators advanced warning of when their systems might be in danger from powerful electric currents induced by space weather phenomena. Examples A geomagnetic storm on March 13, 1989 caused a power grid failure and major blackout in Quebec, Ontario, and this left 6 million people without power. On October 30, 2003, a geomagnetic storm caused a power failure in Sweden. Pipelines Metal pipelines are often used to transport oil or gas over a very long distances, and many of them are located at high latitudes, where space weather can generate strong electrical currents. Geomagnetic storms can induce electric currents in the pipelines. Electric current flow in the metal pipelines causes them to corrode rapidly and making the pipes wear out more quickly and this can lead to expensive repairs. Climate Changes in the energy output of the sun can affect the climate on Earth. And research findings show that plant growth follows the ups and downs of the solar cycle. Scientists are speculating that galactic cosmic rays, high energy particles from outside our solar system may also affect the Earth's climate. Some scientists also believed that cosmic rays are involved with cloud formation in our atmosphere because they create ions that is charged particles in our atmosphere. Examples A historical event called the Monday meaning minimum a 65 year deep in solar activity that caused a period of global cooling on earth in the late 17th century during this time which is known as the little ice age temperatures plunged and the baltic sea froze over regularly this picture shows various effects of space weather Space weather observations. The reasons for observation of space weather are as follows. Scientific purpose. This evolved with the state of knowledge. Then application related observation expanded with the ability to exploit such data. The different types of space weather observation are ground based observation and spacecraft based observation. Ground based observation. Space weather monitoring. Space weather is monitored at the ground level by observing changes in the Earth's magnetic field over periods of seconds to days, by observing the surface of the sun, and by observing radio noise, which is created in the sun's atmosphere. Ground based magnetometers are magnetic observatories. Space weather monitoring data are provided by ground-based magnetometers and magnetic observatories. Ground magnetometry data provide real-time situational awareness for post-event analysis. Magnetic observatories provide data to inform studies of long-term changes in space climatology. This picture shows tennis, which is ground-based magnetometer, and the map showing tennis, ground-based magnetometer location. Satellite-based observation. Some research spacecraft have explored space weather. Examples are Orbiting Geophysical Observatory, NASA SR Solar Terrestrial Relations Observatory, Van Allen probes, gestationary operational environmental satellite, and NASA SR solar and 
Heliospheric Observatory. Space Weather Observations Orbiting Geophysical Observatory was a series of six satellites launched between 1964 and 1969. Purpose of Orbiting Geophysical Observatory are to study the Earth's atmosphere, magnetosphere, and the space between Earth and the Moon, to study the Sun in ultraviolet and X-ray light through an 11-year cycle, and to measure the solar electromagnetic radiation, ultraviolet, X-ray, and gamma ray. Van Allen probes, two robotic spacecraft launched on August 30, 2012 to study the Van Allen radiation beds that surround Earth. The two Van Allen probes spacecraft operate in harsh conditions they are studying. Solar and Heliospheric Observatory SOHO is a spacecraft launched on December 2, 1995 to study the Sun. It has discovered over 4,000 comets and it is a joint project between the European Space Agency and NASA, a main source of near real-time solar data for space weather prediction. Gestationary Operational Environmental Satellite Operated by the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's National Environmental Satellite Data and Information Service Division, it supports weather forecasting, severe weather tracking, and meteorology research. Spacecraft and ground-based elements of the system work together in order to provide a continuous stream of environmental data. Solar, solar Terrestrial Relations Observatory Stereo, is a solar observation mission. Two nearly identical spacecraft were launched in 2006 into orbits around the Sun that caused them to respectively pull further ahead of and fall gradually behind the heart. They took stereoscopic imaging of the sun and solar phenomena such as corona mass ejections. Global Geospace Science Wind Satellite is a NASA science spacecraft launched on November 1st, 1994. It, is, it was deployed to study radio waves and plasma that occur in the solar wind and in the Earth's magnetosphere. For more information, contact Astronautics for Exploit. Thank you.